Uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about what variable scope is. Uh, we're going to be talking about a special keyword in PHP, uh, the global keyword. We're going to go into more detail about super globals, which is something we've mentioned in, when we've talked about the underscore get and underscore uh, server uh, super global arrays that we've used in previous lessons. We're going to talk more about actually what super globals are. We're going to talk about some of the pitfalls of using what are known as global variables. Uh, we're going to talk about when um, variables are to be defined. And then we're going to finish up with an example that shows, um, that basically puts all together, together all of the stuff that we've learned in the lesson. And then quickly just talk about something that doesn't fall under variable scope, um, but is a related issue, and it's called function scope. So what is variable scope? Well, essentially, variable scope um, refers to what part of a script a variable is accessible. Um, so for example, when, you when we define a variable in our script, it's a, for example, if we call a defined variable a equals 1, it's available within all of our script. So far, all of the variables we've defined in our scripts have been known are what are known as global variables and have what is known as global scope. And what that means is once they're defined, they're able to be used anywhere within the file. Um, and it also can be used with any in, within any include files. So for example, on our web application where we define the page title attribute, the page title variable, when we include our header file, it actually can access that page title variable and use it because it's within it's it's called being within its scope. Um, it's a global variable, so it's available to the entire script and any of its include files. Um, however, now that we've introduced user-defined functions, um, uh, variables defined in functions have what's known as a different scope. It's called local function scope. Uh, and that basically affects the ability to use uh, variables defined in your script within a function and variables defined within a function uh, within the script. Um, and th the reason is because they're known as scoping rules. Um, essentially, um, any variables that are defined within a function have local function scope and they can only be accessed from within the function. Uh, and this includes uh, function parameters. So let's take a look at a, a, a file called scope.php. Um, we have a couple of functions here uh, that we're going to get to in a sec. The first thing I'm going to do is um, in our script, we have two functions defined up here, uh, and then we have a uh, variable assignment statement that declares a variable we're calling global int dot equals 25. Uh, and basically because it's defined in the main script as mentioned, just like all of our other variables we've been working with, it's a global variable so it's accessible anywhere in the script. So when I type echo global int, PHP is going to uh, know what that variable responds to. That variable is going to have scope and PHP is going to know um, where, to f where to find its value. So when I go ahead and load the page, It'll output 25. Um, now, however, let's say this function up here that we've created is called um, uh, change global int. And for example, um, let's say we want to run this function and then change the value of uh, this global integer from 25 to 0. Uh, and that's what this function is going to do. Well, two things to note. Uh, first thing is that if we go ahead and run this function, And then we echo global int again. We're going to see that it does not get updated. Uh, the reason is is global int um, is defined in the global scope, and so it has global scope. Um, but once you enter into a function, uh, those global variables are no longer available. So even though we're referring to global int, which was previously defined in the script, and we're going to set it to zero. Um, this global int is actually almost kind of like its own separate variable. It only works within the function body. Um, and it doesn't affect uh, this global variable des described out here or defined out here. Um, this global int, even though it has the same name, is actually a local function variable. Uh, so again, all we're doing here is, is actually changing uh, the value or setting the local function variable global int to zero. The change doesn't get made. So here, um, when we echo global int, it's going to show 25. When we run the function that's going to try to change the uh, value, it's not going to work. And so we're still going to see um, that global int outputs 25 as well. Let me just include a break statement here. So when we go and run the file, we see that 25 is output uh, twice. 
And again, the reason for that is that um, within a function, you cannot access uh, global variables. At the same time, let's say we wanted to, not only can you not change them, but you can't access them either, uh, or to output them. So for example, let's say we wanted to echo global int. Now one would think, okay, we've run our script, we've set global int to 25, we've output it, we call this function, and the first statement in the function is, uh, is echo global int. Well, we think global int is set to 25, it should output it. Uh, well, as we'll see, that's not going to be the case. We're actually going to get a warning or a notice, and it's going to say that you have an undefined variable global int. Um, and that's because within this function, global int had yet to be defined, and uh, within a function, it doesn't know about global variables. So the other side of that is um, that in the global scope, uh, you don't have access to functions or to variables defined within um, a local within a function. So for example, we have a function here called local scope, takes in one parameter, and it creates a variable called local int equals 100. Now this is a local function variable. And what that means is because it's defined within the function, it's not available here on the outside script. So even if we were to Erase this. Even if we were to um, attempt to access this variable outside of the uh, function, it wouldn't work, even, at, even if we've already called the function. So for example, if we go ahead and follow the, call the function local scope, let's just um, input a string that says hello. Now we'd call this function, um, it would get run, it would create this, this variable local int equals 100, and then if we tried to um, echo that local variable out here, we're actually going to get an error because it's defined within the function, it has only function scope, it's not accessible outside the function. So when we run this, uh, we're actually going to get another notice. And it's going to say undefined variable local int on line 35. If we look at line 35, that's um, in our global scope within the, the bigger script outside of the function. It doesn't know what local int uh, refers to. Uh, at the same time, um, we can't access, for example, we couldn't output um, param. Even though within the function we could echo param that was passed in, and that'll work because a param um, Parameters defined uh, within a function are only, uh, our variables are only available within that function. So it knows about what param is. It's whatever value it was set to when the function was called, in this case, hello. Uh, it'll be able to echo it. But if we go down here and we try to echo it, uh, it's not going to happen because param only exists within the function. So for example, if we run the script, we'll see that hello was output, um, and then we get an error on line 36. So if we look back, um, Hello gets output because this echo statement knows what param is because it's been defined within the function scope. However, we get an error here because we're trying to um, access the variable param that's only defined within the scope of the function. So that's basically the difference between um, global scope and local function scope.